It's Thursday. It's actually Friday. I got a four day weekend. So that's pretty cool. So we just been out here in the shop this evening and uh, making room to get the trailer up here so we can get that uh, winch mounted on the trailer. We gotta do some welding, get that bracket welded on there. So I just been out here kind of cleaning, rearranging, got a fire prepped back there, get that going in the morning. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we'll get a uh, bracket made for the battery too. Anyway, we're just gonna kind of chill the rest of the night. I got fab rats going on the old YouTube and just chilling with the old hound back there. He's all coiled up in his bed. All right, we'll pick up in the morning. I got the mount sitting on the trailer. So I just gotta do some grinding. I'm gonna make sure I weld it so I can cut the welds back off. At least I can get to them in case I need to remove it somehow. Get the wizard wheel in there. And I'm thinking there and there is gonna be enough. Thought about welding here. I don't know if I will or not. I might. I guess why not? Just a couple spots. I got a little bit of a gap there. <laughs> a little bit, yeah, a big one. But I filled in bigger. All right. I'll get the old grinder out, grind that paint off. Break the welder up, break the welder out. See what we can do. All right, I got it welded on there. They didn't turn out bad. So I welded it there. Same thing on the other side. And then I did end up putting a couple there, one there, and, and one over there. Okay, I'm gonna get that over here and get that winch mounted on there. Hopefully the bolts still line up. They should, but you know, if I, twisted that or anything by clamping it down. Who knows? We're gonna find out. We ended up gelling those, uh, opening those holes up a little bit. Got it back on there, got the bolts in. She's all bolted down. Looks pretty good. Well, it's turned out good. I think it's gonna work. It's lower than what I wanted, but it'll be all right. Anyway, there it is. I've been using a little 4,000 pound winch and uh, using a snatch block, and it's been working, but uh, it's thought I'd upgrade. All right. All right, we're gonna get started on the battery bracket for the winch, for the old log trailer. Got me some two inch angle iron there in the old slugger. Went to family farm at home and picked up a battery. Uh, the little research I did, it recommends a, a battery of 650 cold cranking amps. That's got 800. It's a marine battery. I don't, hopefully that'll work, I don't see why it won't. It's got the right post for the top. 
I hook the winch cables up to. And will also work for my uh, sawmill blade sharpener that uses a 12 volt battery also. So I'm gonna start cutting some pieces out and hopefully we can make something work. Get some layout fluid and lay these out so I can cut them. I wish I wouldn't have uh, took care of my, moved my welding table. Just cut them out and cut these little squares out.
All right, I got the pieces all deburred here. Just trying to set it up right now to weld it. And trying to figure out how I'm going to weld it and keep it square. I don't know. I guess I'll just be careful and tack it and tweak it and whatever. All right, we're going to give it a shot. All right, that's the setup. I don't know. It's all right. It works. Got my battery tray built. Got that welded on. Got a little bracket there to hold the battery down. I had some nuts and washers somewhere. I sat them down, I can't find them. But, I tried it out, got the mount on there and welded, pretty happy with it, ought to work good, what I'm going to do with it, a little bit more tongue weight, which I think that's fine, alright, I got to take everything back off and paint it, paint the welds and stuff like that. So don't rust. All right, cut to size, hammer to fit, paint to match. Pretty much what I had going on today. All right, thanks for hanging in there.